We have, yes, again, hang on. Right, again, stick your, stick your camera in there. No. I'll go this way, Thank right. You. Stick your camera in there. Sorry, guys, bear with us for one second, and everything will be fantastic. Yes. I think. It sure will. Slight more, a little bit of technical um, doohickey going on there, and in the background, camera um, settings need to be reset. Um, guys, um, good evening. Welcome to Goose Customs Car Crash TV. <laughs> You're all very No, th th this one's going to go really smoothly, I have a I'm feeling. Perfect. I'm delighted to hear that because the last one sure as hell didn't. Um, first of all, uh, for, the, for those of you who uh, watched the video last week or who watched the live last week, I do apologise. The quality of the signal was absolutely shocking. Um, I'm hoping that this week the quality will be far, far better. Um, I don't know what happened last week. But... Um, it is what it is. We're at the mercy of our internet service providers, the same as everybody else out there who lives in sort of oh, the arsehole and over. So anyway. Doobie Doo is here and he says it's better picture quality. I am delighted. Um, Thank well, you for coming back. Welcome back to the, <laughs> to the, uh, what do you call it, to the thick and nut house. To the nut house. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, what was going to say, um, guys, uh, nice to see you. And as your mum would say... No, don't. Thanks. <laughs> um, Doobie Doo is... Is he the only one running the minute? Or is no, a there's, a, there's a few. Oh, yeah. I am. Yeah. Oh, John. Welcome aboard, guys. So anyway, I am here to give you... It's, it's a quick rehash on what I did last week because the quality of the feed was so bad last week that people couldn't either hear it, it was buffering, it was jumping, the signal was shit, the picture was shit. The best in whole feed of shit, which is why shortly after the feed finished, I deleted the feed. Um, because I, I like we're not professionals <laughs> by any stretch of the imagination, but we do want to, we do have sort of minimum standards. Very, very <laughs> we low. do, yeah, they're very, very <laughs> we low. have standards, <laughs> they're actually very, very, I'm sitting here playing with the they're actually very, very low, but we do have we do have minor standards. Minor Eden's standards. here as well. He's saying where's Shadow's boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> he's in, he just had his dinner. He's he's doing okay. We're talking about a dog no mind, so just so you know. Anyway, people, I'm gonna give a quick rehash of what I did last week because um only there's only a handful of you saw what was going on and it was jumpy and sort of all over the place. So uh we'll we'll start from the beginning. Um we had a fantastic weekend up in Dublin. It really, really was good. Um, we met a lot of new people. I um, uh, Quite a few new bike builders I met up there that I'd never met before. Saw some really cool bikes that I'd never seen before, which is kind of surprising because Ireland is such a small place and we do have a fairly close-knit biker community here. So I know most of the people who are out there building, but it's actually just goes to show I actually quite a few people that I didn't know, which was brilliant. Uh, it was nice to meet all of them. Um, we got the CB up. CB went really, really well. Um, it got a huge amount of attention. Um, CB is now built with four and a half years. Um, we had a couple of issues with it from day one. Um, carburetors on it from day one were absolute total fucking shit. Like they never, ever ran right. So my buddy Paul McMahon bought with MCM motorcycles in uh, Leash. Leash? Don't look at he's me. You always the, call it Kildare, yeah, Kildare and I, it's Lee, not Kildare. Summer. He's in. A, he's hiding in the. Is it awfully? Somewhere. Could be awfully. Could, so it's awfully. Up, yeah, Derek says it's awfully. Yeah, no, there you go. <laughs> See, it's, I know it's up there in the world. Up somewhere. in the bogs somewhere. Um, Paul um, hooked me up with a, a new set of carbs from nineties, uh, late nineties CB seven fifty, and harshed them in with some hydraulic hosing, um, because the. Um, the center of center differences on the hang on, I'll turn the lights on. There you go. This is the hosing. The center of center differences on these carbs were completely different to the center of center differences on my old carbs. To say that they work well is an understatement. This thing, first turn of the key, boom, up she goes. Whereas the previous, do you want to risk it? Yeah, we'll, we'll make it. Work. I, I'm this is it. I guarantee you, I will. I'm It'll make a liar out of you now. No, I'm actually very, very confident, confident in this. That's what I am, and it will fire. That's the way. Once I give it a wee bit of choke, hang on, if I can find the damn thing. Oh, it's already open. Jesus, way ahead, well ahead of me. Where's me tap? Tap up. Have a crack off of this, people. <laughs> All right, 
Sorry to anyone who was wearing headphones. <laughs> that thing, is, I swear to God, the sound off of that when it fires up is fucking amazing. It really is. Sorry about my language. For those of you who are of the, of the sensitive... Of the sensitive well, Derek language. says it sounds sweet. Jerry's oh, on as well. That and thing. Tommy Roach. Hello, guys. Welcome. Um, that thing sounds amazing. Um, I've done a couple of bits and pieces to it in the last couple of weeks. Um, the... What did I do for us? Let me give me oh. your new rod. The ram here had to be sorted because every time I opened and closed this, because that ram was under so much pressure, uh, it, it never let the lid close properly and the lid always warped sideways. So I had to degas the ram and I've now put a pinhole in it up here so it's now pinned open. So it's actually locked in position down so I can't come down unless I pull the pin, which works really, really much, much better. I changed the front master cylinder. Because the front master cylinder was never, it never did the job right. and never had proper brakes off of it. Um, I put in, there's no R1 master cylinder on this. Um, it works really well. It's actually very, it, very similar to the original one. And it looks pretty cool. And it looks, it does, it's grand. I, I, I took the lever and the reservoir from the original master cylinder and I put it onto the, uh, I put this, this whole section in the middle here is, is the R1. I had to drill and tap that section to allow the new master cylinder to go on. Put your hand up the way. Sorry. And it's all good. It's actually, it actually works a treat. I'm very, very happy with that. Um, I did get a spin on it. Um, I will be posting that video during the week. Um, I've got, well, I've got three little videos. I just need editing. Um, I took it on a four-mile spin. Um, we need to do a bit of jetting on the carbs because the, the jetting isn't quite right because I've got wide open. These filters, there's nothing in there. There's, there's a bit of foam on the edge, but they're hollow in the middle. So it's effectively, um, they, they, they're wide open. Also, I'm running a wide open on baffled exhaust, so we, I, we need to do a small bit of jetting to, to, to match up with that. But as you heard there, it sounds fucking beautiful, it really does. Um, that's and pretty much that's the CB pretty much sorted. Um, to the point now, I'm so happy with this to the point now that once I get the little bit of jetting sorted on the carburetor, I'm confident I can go out and I can start this thing and I can drive it whenever I want at any time. Mm -hmm. Um, which I've never ever been able to do before because the old carburetors. Were so bloody temperamental that unless you used it on a regular basis, it there was it, it never did never work right. No, that's this your coat of the way. Yeah. So are you are you all still with me? I haven't yeah, I, think... I haven't bamboozled the shite out of you yet, no? No, no, Good they're stuff. all they're all still with us. This absolute feckin' gorgeous piece of sexiness here beside me is my Harley. I thought you were talking sorry, about Dan, me I, for sorry, a second. Sorry, it's you. Okay, it's you. <laughs> there. Anyway. The Harley. Uh, the Harley. Um, I am putting this on the on the on the on the back burner for a month or two because before um, the whole business of Gen Strike keeps on coming up. Um, the I have sort of this one, this this one, and this and the sidecar one, which is up there, which is in the, in the away in the shed. I want to get the three of these one hundred percent finished, up and running to the point like this, where at any at any time I want to be able to sit up and I'm turn the key, they'll start and I can drive. Yeah. Uh, at the moment, I this is ninety nine percent there. I literally just need to tune the carburetor. So that's sorted. This one needs a lot of work. Um, it looks finished. It's not. Um, there's changes. I've, I've there's, there's stuff been done to it which I've done. And as as is always the case with custom bikes, as you build custom bikes and you have something in your head, it doesn't turn out how you want it or it doesn't work how you wanted it. So, for example, I'm sitting on this just moving on. It's easy. These pipes. Um, I don't like them. Um, I, del I originally liked the idea of the pipes coming out the back and down the side here. Now that, it's, I know that I see it in the flesh, I think it looks bloody awful, to be honest. So what I'm going doing is, I'm, the, there's, there's, L fit, there's a, a 90 degree fitting under here. I'm cutting them off. Can, no, can't you can't see, see it, it. not because they're actually well hidden underneath, underneath here. I'm cutting them off and rotating them 180 degrees. And what I'm actually going to do is the pipe is now going to come up here and inside here. And this will be completely gone because the one thing that bothers me is there's some lovely detail in the back mudguard. And these ugly pipes are actually taking away from it. So that's got to be done. Uh, suspension works lovely. See? Ah! It actually works really, really nice. Um, very, very happy with that. It's the only part of electrics is working at the moment. Um, the, I've got to sort through all the electrics because when I built this, these are called momentary switches, these fellas here, these guys, right? And what they are, they are is they are single button switches and they work by a series of button presses. We'll operate the lights, we'll operate the indicators, all that sort of stuff. 
in my absolute infinite, they're part of the X21 new cyclotronic system that I put into this. Now, in my, in my infinite stupidity, and I hold my hand up because everyone has brain fat moments, including me, they, they, the wire goes all the way down through here, right the way down through here into the electrical box on the seat. It's got small little blade um, terminals on the end of it. I thought it would be a good idea at the time to, to cut them off because the wire needed to be shortened and I could rejoin it and resolder it up afterwards, only I lost them. So, which effectively rendered the whole switch like useless. Now, Alan at Kilted, Kilted Bush, uh, Bushido Builds, he's the guy I bought all this off of and he gave me a new set of buttons above at the show in Dublin. So, much appreciated, Alan, thanks very much. Um, and I'm going to start rewiring new switches and get it all sorted. There's a, that, that has to be done. There's a few other bits and pieces in terms of the wiring that has to be done to get this thing up, to, up and running and sorted. That's one job. Second job is tanks not finished painted. There's more work, there's a lot of detail to go in here, getting around here. There's more detail to go into the mural inside. Uh, Ger's got to do that. Ger was absolutely flat out at the time. He did um, as much as he could do before the show, made a beautiful job of what he did do, but now there's a little bit more detail to come in. Uh, also, the inter internals of the tank, I have to do a proper cleaning job inside the tank and the tank has to be lined because in the process, of getting the tank ready for paint, we found pinholes in the tank. So I'm gonna get stuff called POR15. Um, I can't, for the life of me, get the stuff in Ireland. It's actually a tank sealer. So if anybody knows where it can be got, um, I will I'll probably end up having to go to the UK or go to Europe for it because I can't get it here. No one, no one in Ireland seems to stop it. It's a tank sealer called POR15. So guys, drop us a line if you know where you can get it. Uh, it's brilliant stuff. So that's got it. I've got to completely seal the tank and I've got to sort out the tap at the other side of it. Um, other than that, I think we're fairly well sorted. Everything else on it is done. Um, small, stupid jobs. I must move this pipe. Uh. I must move that pipe up a half an inch because that, that's, it. that's the brake pipe going through there. It's when you're sitting on the bike, you've, the only, got, you've only got a tiny bit. So that's not tight because you there's, don't no have enough clearance. there's no copper washers in there. So that needs to come up about that much. The other thing that must be done is that wire. That's the wire for the brake pipe. That must be tidied up because otherwise it's going to hit the exhaust and it'll melt in seconds. But these are... It's not a good idea to melt your brake pipes. No. Oh. But these are all sort of small, silly little things that are easy enough sorted. But there's, there's, a, there's a good few of them on this. On the sidecar, I noticed when I was in Dublin that the left front brake pipe is leaking. So I've got to make a new brake pipe for that. And the whole lining of the, of the sidecar has got to be done because the lining of the sidecar, what's actually happening is this... It's, it's, it's kind of like a V at the moment. The back is far, far further out than where it needs to be. So I've got to pull all that back in. And, and the only way you can do that is you need a complete clean section of floor. You've got to draw your lines on the floor and you then adjust the sidecar to suit them lines. Do you need to adjust it with someone sitting in it? No, no, you don't. No, no it's actually, no, it's the, it works, it works on camber. So you take your measurements from the front to the centre, from the back to the centre, and then you have to work out tilt and all this kind of business. Is it like, I actually had it written up there, but I wiped it all off. Oh, yeah. And uh, I'll, I'll have to download it. There's actually a comprehensive guide on the internet on how to do it. It just takes a long time to do it. And you have to be careful about how you do it because it seriously affects your handling if you get it wrong. So that's be done. The other things we've been doing so here Shaggy are... is on. Hi, Shaggy. How are you doing, bud? So good timing because we're just about to show what yeah. Billy's been up to. The other thing we've been doing is me and Billy have been working on the, on the little mini chop. Um, this, uh, I got this off my buddy Shaggy earlier on this year, yes, and I'm not going to, I was going to start this, but the, the, but the shed is full of smoke from the CB after starting the CB, so I'm not going to add two stroke smoke to that mix. Ah, uh, just, just for a second. Okay, fair if enough. If it will. It should do, there's no reason why it shouldn't. Is it? Yep. <laughs> She's alive. This little yoke spent, I don't know how long, uh, on, my buddy's land, on my buddy's landing in Wales, on the landing of his house in Wales. And uh, he gave it to me 
as a present because I thought, because he, he didn't want it anymore. <laughs> oh, he said he forgot he left his old tax disc on it. Do you yeah, need it back? Yeah, that's all. <laughs> I, think, I think it might be a bit out of date. <laughs> I'm not sure that's any good to you anymore. <laughs> but we'll keep it for prosperity. But um, as far as a learning tool for Billy, as far as a learning tool for Billy to get into bikes, it's brilliant because it's got a lovely two-stroke engine, but it's a twist and go. Um, it needs a bit of tidy up, needs a few bits and pieces done to it, but he wants... Um, he wants to sort of do his own little spin on it. Um, not too impressed with the boobies that are painted in the tank. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't know, give him a year or two and he'll miss those yeah. boobies. Oh, he will. He'll definitely miss those <laughs> boobies. So I'm teaching that, the sort of the, the bits and pieces about that to Billy at the moment, and hopefully he'll pick up the bug and he'll get into the bikes. The Beamer is one of those fucking bikes that everything we start on us it's sort of the, the, the issues with it are growing legs the bike is it's a lovely bike it runs well it's just suffered from sadly poor maintenance and just um, solving one issue reveals two more like i changed the fuel pipe on it uh yesterday and in the process of changing the fuel pipe we got all the cameras back in she was running fine then also with petrol leaking on us it turns out that the fuel pipe wasn't the only part of it that was leaking petrol both float bowl, float bowls on the carburetors are leaking as well so I found that out this evening after I put the whole fucking thing back together again. So now it's going to be completely dismantled again and the carburetor is going to be stripped and rebuilt. So but look, um, I didn't Happy rebuild days. the carburetors at the time because the bike is going beautifully. And so there's no point in cracking open the carburetors if they didn't need to be. But no, they didn't need to be. They need to be because they're leaking. So aside from that, uh, yesterday, um, got the back wheel on, got the brakes built, got a new um, rear uh, braided hose put on us. So the whole back end has now been uh, been redone. Next job to do is we're doing the same for the front. We've got new brake shoes for the front, new brake pads for the front. Uh, brand new brake hoses going in the front. These hoses are these guys. They're, they're HEL uh, brake lines, complete ready made. They come ready made, they're bloody good brake lines. Um, and the best part about these is they come with the banjo washers, all the banjo bolts and washers, stainless banjo bolts and washers. So that it's a full kit. So you're not putting your own manky, manky banjo bolts back on there. Um, so, and guys, don't be cheapskates when you're doing your brakes. Put clean, brand new washers in them because I've seen several guys and they take the brakes off and they put the same banjo bolts, uh, banjo bolt washers back in again. And it's not good because these things are already, they've already been past their safe use, their single time use jobby. So, for the sake of 10 cent washer, don't be a cheap get put some new washers in there. Ed says on. Hi Ed, what's going on Ed? All the way down in Whitegate. All the way down in Whitegate. Um, so um, other, other things to discuss are the absolutely amazing R5. Oh yeah, a doodle bike. Go have a look at that. That R5 guys is, uh, well it's a doodle bike now. I bought that off of my buddy Eden, who's also online at the moment, um, six months ago, I suppose, um, with the intention of doing something to it. I don't think he quite planned that I was going to do this to it, no. but I, I thought it was it. a good idea at the time to take the bike to Dublin and let the kids go loose on it. It turns out that there was nearly as many adults were loose on it as there was kids, no. but it's absolutely fucking amazing. It really, really is. It's, it's a work of art. Um, what I'm going to do with it from here on, I have no idea because I would love to be able to immortalize it and just be able to ride it as it is, but that's not going to happen. No. Um, but it, it, we will in some form, like the, um, the back seat, the seat, this part of the bike, this is this is off an XS400 that I did a few years ago. It's not part of the bike at all. It's completely different. So that alone will get, that'll, that'll turn into wall art, I think. Just somewhere hang there. that on the somewhere, wall up there yeah. next to the tanks. Yeah, somewhere, on, space. somewhere, in, the, somewhere in, the, in the shop that's going to go on the wall. My plan for that, I think, is I'd love to make a little 250, a little three, like that's actually effectively the first of first year model of the RD 350s. It's called an R5, um, but it's got an RD 350 engine. Um, but I've pretty much got most of the bike, like there's bits and pieces that are missing here, but most of it's in boxes inside the shed. And I think. Uh, the front wheel and the back wheel are off an RD400. I figured that out, so they won't be going back. They'll be coming off it. But I think it can make a nice little race bike. Um, it's tiny. It's actually feckin', it really is tiny. So keep an eye out for that down the road. Um, but that will be down the road. The next job, next new bike, next new project coming here will be Genstrike. Um, that's 100% definite. In 
if I can get this thing finished and the sidecar finished, the sidecar will take me half a day to finish that, maybe a day to finish it. This is, as far as I'm concerned, for now is finished because it's gone back up to Paul on beginning of December sometime. And we're going to do the carbs on it. Um, there'll be another bike going as well. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that later on. It's a bit different. And that, that's, it'll, it'll be coming up with me, but it's part of another project. Um, for, for Just so as you know, there's always other stuff going on. Um, between work, which I do a lot of, um, there's other stuff going on. Um, yeah, Aidan approves of the doodle bike anyway. I he says throw cool. a coat of lacquer on it. Yeah, I think it'd be savage, to be honest. Um, there's always loads of other stuff going on. Uh, I work full time, as most of you know. Anybody who knows who knows me know. I work full time when I'm able. When I'm not able, I sit at home and paint on the couch. But we get over that. Sometimes I have Guinness, which kills the pain. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, <laughs> sometimes it cures my thirst. <laughs> but it always cures something. It always cures something. Guinness is good for you. See, that's the, see, I'm a perfect example for an ad for Guinness. Guys, drink responsibly, okay? <laughs> <laughs> until, until, until you don't. <laughs> so anyway, um, the what was else? What else was I going to talk? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. For guys, um, I have to, uh, I have launched my web page. Um, it's goosecustomsireland.com with a www at the end. If you're an old PC, typing it in, but it's goosecustomsireland.com. Uh, there's a couple of bits and pieces. It's just starting off couple of bits and pieces on. I'd appreciate it if you'd go on there, leave an opinion, let me know how you get on with it, uh, what you think of it. Um, uh, if, you, if you're feeling so inclined and you're looking for a Christmas present, there's loads and loads of options on there in my online shop for Christmas presents. Um, help to fund the old fucking... My trike. Help, yeah, yeah, yeah we'll, help we'll to fund my trike. It'll be funding Jen's trike. Because <laughs> uh, she's stealing all my money now. So I, I can't fund bikes anymore now. She only used to say she'll get no more money until I build her trike. Yeah. So, so sorry guys, if you want to carry on this content, Jen is holding my money hostage. Oh, absolutely, of course. <laughs> I have such a track record of doing that. <laughs> so, um, what else What else are we doing, Jen? Um, what else are we doing? We've done this, we've done this, we've done the sidecar. Any um, questions, guys? Let's see. Let's see if there's anybody who wants to ask you anything. Now, the other, the other things that um, are going on in the background... Uh, I have, I'm working on sort of a, a sideline for Goose Customs for next year. Um, we'll worry, we'll, I'll, talk, I'll talk to you about that in the new year. But, but I promise it isn't only fans. Oh, Jesus Christ, Jen. I promised you would. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, uh, I've got to rebuild my trailer over Christmas um, because there's a lot needs to do with that because I can't transport anything without that trailer and the trailer needs a lot of work. Um, my van we sold the the transporter that i built and um, for those of you who don't know um uh, we sold it to a, a guy down in west cork who is obviously very very happy with it because we haven't heard from him since i i i'd so, hope he's happy with it well if he's not we haven't heard from him since. yeah so. and billy still misses it so. Billy is constantly complaining that we sold it however we have got ourselves a transit. We bought, uh, we got ourselves a brand, well, I'm going to say brand new, it's not fucking far from brand new. We got it new to us, um, an 07 transit, and it's it's a high roof one and a long wheelbase one, so there's loads of room inside in it. And I'm going to be, over the winter and into the new year, I'm going to be converting that as well. So I, between bikes and trailers and Jen's trike and all that sort of stuff, I have a lot to do over the next sort of six or seven months but um so guys apparently the international post on web orders is okay andy says so the yeah. international post on web orders when they order online yes yes no problem whatsoever okay. um you can uh you can um yeah you can order i'm speaking of which i need to talk to andy anyway because i need to, i need to post her uh, um an envelope to get her the post to me because I want to get gaskets for Dave's carburetors and the clothes I want to buy them from one post and one post to us. We have a lot of this problem, guys. For those of you who live in England, because we are in the Republic of Ireland and with Brexit and all this old crap, a lot of English companies won't post to Ireland. And um, because it's not, purposes, not worth it with yeah, all the declarations yeah, and all the rest of it. For all the purposes of all their paperwork, it's not worth it. <laughs> I'll actually I'm gonna actually put up the post afterwards for you to watch. I was rooting for Dave's um 
they've got car batteries. They're the same as the GS500. They're the same as the GSX1100. They're, they're, um, they're quite a common car battery. They're Mercunis. <laughs> I was, all I want is the, is, the, is, the, is the gasket for the float ball. And I was, I was rooting around this evening. And we came across a post where the gasket was, I think it was 10, 1099 pounds sterling. And they wanted 153, 153 pounds to post it from the UK. So that's the shit we're having to deal with. Yeah, Shaggy says he'll have a look for the POR15 as well. Oh, brilliant. Excellent. Um, so yeah, the, 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 the biggest problem we have here is getting the, getting the right stuff. We, we can get the stuff here. But by the time we've got it here, if you're paying sort of ten pounds for it in England, by the time we get it here, it's probably thirty quid, maybe forty quid here. By the time we get it, yeah. And I know ridiculous. there's guys above in the north where you can do all the sort of jiggery pop you're getting in above in the north, but we're not in the north. We're so far south, we're falling off the edge of the cliff. So it's it's in a lot of cases it's not practical unless we knew some fellow who lives up in the mountain and don't go who's traveling who's traveling down this end of the world who could help. <laughs> Imagine if we knew someone up there. Yes, we knew somebody up there. So um. Uh, so guys, tis, um, tis going to be a busy, busy, busy uh, end of year. Um, so the main reason, sort of, the main reason for tonight is a sort of is, is an improvement on the sort of on last update, week's on disaster. Last, week's, last week, yeah. shit show. Let's be realistic. But car crash TV at its best. And I wanted to tell you about the website because I'm quite keen to promote the website. Facebook is going to be less and less for us. This is why I'm only now doing lives on YouTube because Facebook is going to be less and less because. We're getting sort of, I'm getting battered to shit by Facebook. The one like they're just kind of severely restricting my posts. Um, lately, my posts are down to sort of five, six, seven hundred, where they should be at two and a half to three thousand. Um, it just they, they just drop from there, and they do that quite quite often on a regular basis, just to try and squeeze more money out of us. Um, so now they're actually sent me another thing this morning that they want money. They want. They now want contributions. Uh, they want a monthly subscription, and otherwise they're going to bombard me with ads. And as far as I'm concerned, they can feck off. They're getting no money off of me. Um, if they give me a decent service, we might give them something, but they're not getting nothing. And they keep changing the setup. And well, the problem, the main, the main issue I had with them, aside from the fact they were restricting my feed, is about six or seven weeks ago. What's prompted me to get the website up and running properly is six or seven weeks ago they. Um, they deleted my shop off of Facebook completely. They never told me they were deleting it. They never said why they deleted it after I complained. I haven't heard from them since. They just deleted it. Um, so anybody who tries to, like, and there's numerous people have complained about running businesses off of Facebook. They said it's next to impossible and it costs them too much money. So for that reason, I'm not going to bother my arse. It's just not worth it. So guys, um, I would appreciate a visit to the old um, to the old website to the old website and uh, an old T-shirt or five. And an old box of hoodies. Well, Joe says that nice, this week's nice broadcast, hat. apparently this week's broadcast has been super perfect. Who's that? Jerry. Oh, thank you, Jerry. Okay. Come here, I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Oh, in about three weeks. <laughs> and two producers. Gonna... Anyway, back to Jenny's trike. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, look, look. at the moment, my son's bike is where my trike should be. Yes. So, see all the space on the floor? Give it, what, two months? Oh, God, no, less than that. Do you think? Oh, yeah, 100% less than that, yes. Before yes. Christmas? Before Christmas. Well, absolutely, absolutely 100% before Christmas. Before Christmas. Your site, your trike will be in there if, once I get that bloody thing out of here. Yeah, but then you're, bring, you're not bringing the sidecar back in for a couple yes, of weeks. Car, no, yeah. the sidecar just needs a brake pipe and needs to be squared off. I should have the sidecar done in a couple of days. Once I get that done. Yeah. But the... The other course, the other problem I have, it's like first world problem, guys, in fairness. I need to build me a new shed. Because I'm running out of room. Oh god. It's like first world problems, it really is. Um so if look, only there was a way of, you know, moving on things that are in the shed. Well they do, I move them on from this end of the shed to this end of the shed. <laughs> That's the only fucking move on you'll get so you can take right off. <laughs> so uh anyway, um the Jerry, we are coming up, I think. It's the second week, week of, of December, December, so it's like the heading, 9th and the 10th or yeah, something like we're, that. We're heading Dublin direction. We're going to come up and we'll have a couple of drinks and yeah. it'll be great fun. I, I'm bringing the CB with me and one other bike for, 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 for Paul to play with. Yeah, so looking forward to seeing you then. So yeah, we'll have some Guinness. We'll play some pool. Yeah. 
we could tell some jokes. Good crack. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. We're, yeah, that's it, guys. We're we're actually nearly there. No, I will ask you a question. There's a bunch of you online, right? Well, I was having this discussion with Jen before we left the kitchen a few minutes ago. Um, I I'm I'm sort of interested in sort of doing a couple of more of these live feeds. Well, Derek has just said we need to post it on the shed for bikers before we go live next time. Okay. Just post well, it saying that we're going to go live. I I want to do a few more of this, a few more of these um live things because it's uh, I want to I want to boost my web page and I want to boost my my um my YouTube channel. Couldn't give a rat's arse about fucking Facebook and stuff anymore because I put years into them and got nothing out of them. So um you, fa uh, Facebook and Instagram will be for updates for the actual you know the good shit. <laughs> the good shit. We'll go to YouTube and the web page. Um so um. My question to you guys is, uh, would uh, what do you reckon to me doing a bi-weekly podcast type thing, whatever this thing is, whatever live. we do is called, live, okay, live, uh, a bi-weekly thing as in every other week, it might not be actually every other week, but I'm just sort of using every other week as a sort of a, a as a base to work off of, um, no, feel free to say, fuck that pig, I'm not coming here every two weeks, look at your fucking ugly face on, on TV, or, yeah, we'll have some of that. And um, leave a, leave an old message and just let me know. Um, other than that, guys, it has been an absolute fucking pleasure yapping to you again and just talking shite on the phone. And yeah, your feedback is always more than welcome. Yes, uh, I would, I would, I tell you, I would also like, if possible, give me some feedback on the web page. Tell me what you think, and uh, tell me what you think I should add to it because this is all new. See, I'm I'm a, I'm a bike person. I like playing with bikes. I'm this whole. I'm sort of trying to learn get into the sort of the, the web page. I don't edit videos, even though I have a lot of shit. I have, I have, um, I, I went to my bottom drone, which I still haven't used. Um, I have cameras coming out of me thick and able. So I've all the gear. I'm, and I'm slowly teaching myself how to use little bits and pieces of it. Um, editing is a big thing, which I have to learn. That's my next thing for the next coming 12 months. I'm going to learn basic editing of some form, of some form or other. So I will get to the whole thing, bit and things hopefully will get a bit. Better. But it is all a learning curve. It's... But I'm not, but yeah. But my my I've got an old head and an old brain, and sometimes it has to be baiting now with a hammer to get some <laughs> to get some to work. So um, but I am getting there, and it will take time. So bear with me, and things will improve. But guys, your opinions are always uh, would be most welcome. What well, Derek says, don't worry, you're down with the cool kids. Well, thank you very much. As if he'd know. Of course he would. <laughs> the stories Paul was telling me about him, like he's the man. Oh, is he the man, oh, he's is he? The man. He's the man. Paul, Paul loves Derek. Oh, yeah. So, guys, listen to me. Um, thanks very much for coming. Um, yeah, and we'll talk to you soon. And we will talk to you soon. Um, maybe in two weeks' time. Depends on what your answer is going to be. If your answer said, Mick, we love you and we want to hear you again, we'll be back in two weeks' time. If not, you can all take off. <laughs> so, guys, listen. It's been lovely talking to you, and we'll talk to you soon, okay? See you later, guys. Bye-bye.